In this lesson, we're going to learn how to accompany the Mason's apron reel in the key of G. I have Mr. Shane Hayes on the button accordion. We're going to play it once through, just have a listen to it at session speed. Then we're going to go through the rhythm. I'll bring up the chord charts on the side. We'll break things down part by part and then have a bonus at the end. So stick around for that. <laughs> Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So the Mason's Apron is a reel, and that's 4-4 time, and I want to show you three different strumming patterns that might come in handy with this tune, depending on which part you're in and what way you want to accompany it. The first strumming pattern is going to be a straight reel rhythm, which I like to count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you want to just get that up to speed, so 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and just get comfortable with that. So the second rhythm that's going to come in handy is more of a boom chuck or a bass treble kind of rhythm, which sounds like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, bass treble, bass treble. And that comes in handy for the likes of bass runs, so you want to practice on the low A string. Or the low D string. And I'll show you these um, patterns in a bit, but it's just that bass treble, bass treble on the right hand that you want to focus in on. And you want to get very precise when you're doing that, hitting the A string. And then likewise on the D string. The A string is going to be a little trickier because you have to really get, get your right hand picking hand to hit that A string when you're strumming. And the third rhythm that you might want to check out is this drag, chuck, boom, chuck. So it's, you're dragging up on the one, chuck, or the treble, boom, chuck. So drag, chuck, boom, chuck, drag, chuck, boom, chuck. And that'll sound like this. Something like that. So ideally, you want to get comfortable with changing between these three different types of rhythms. So you'll be going from the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four to this boom, chuck. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four to drag chuck boom chuck drag chuck boom chuck one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and just kind of playing around with it like that. So we're onto the chords now, and I'm going to show you the framework that I use to accompany this tune. I like to follow the tune a bit, and if you'd like to keep things a bit more steady, of course that's an option, or you can go in the jazzy direction. This is just how I play the tune. So this tune is in the key of G, so I have the capo on the fifth fret, and I like to base a lot of my movement around this D major shape. So it might sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So what I'm doing there is moving from this D major shape up to uh, this inside G shape, two finger inside G. And you want to start getting precise with your right hand technique here, or where you're strumming. You don't want to hit those low low tones. That doesn't sound too nice. So you want to just strum from those middle strings. Same with this A shape as well up here. So you want the middle tones and the high tones. So up to the A. Outside of that, then I'd I do the, the same thing in the lower octaves. So you'd be playing your D shape, and then I'd do a have this F sharp. You're just 
putting your third finger on this F sharp. And then you're going up to the G shape, the low G shape, and the low A shape. So that's. Something like that. Another chord that you might throw in is this. You have this E in shape in the bass. So it might go. Other than that, you might be able to throw in a few, few lines that might sound like this. That type of thing. So that goes from this second fret on the middle D string to your fourth fret on the low A string, and your little finger up on the fifth fret of that low A. So, so you're kind of adding that in. So that's there'd be something you could throw in for part one. So just following the tune, it allows you to have this framework that you can follow around. So we'll move on to we'll have a listen to part one now, and then we'll move on to part two. But to start to part two, what I do is this upstroke. And I'm doing a pull off with the third finger. So it's just to, I'm really just holding one chord. But it's just to give a little bit more of a flair. So. Or you can do the on the low low string as well. So because you have the inside D string and you have the low D string. So anything you do on the inside will work on the low. So that's just something to practice, just this pull off with your third finger. And you have the upstroke. a G, up to an A. So that'd be a good start for part two. So in the middle of part two, I'm pretty much following the same chords as I had in part one. The high G, high A, the low G shape, the low A, and I had that line. That, that kind of uh, little mid, mid section line. So at the very end of part two, then, I do have a little bit more of a, a bass line run, which sounds like this. So let's go through that. You're pretty much going down a scale, so. That's the line there. So you go, you have the fifth fret, fourth fret, second fret on the A, open A, then I go to this 4th fret on the low D, up to the 5th fret on the low D, then I have this quick, so 2, 4, open, so it sounds like this with the rhythm. So you're kind of doing that boom chuck I was talking about earlier, so. Boom chuck, boom chuck, a little faster at the end there. But boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. So that's part two, really, that you get to play around with. join things so far please do click that like button it helps quite a lot on the channel and if you have any comments at all just leave them below i'm happy to help out part three doesn't have too many extra elements it just has one high card that we'll go through so 
I like to lean on the D at the very start of this part. And then you're walking up to the G, which we've done. And then you have this, it's just a high shape of an A. There's your inside A that we were playing earlier on. Now we're just adding these two extra notes in. This is the shape here. So the start of part three. Walking up. So you have that bass line at the end as well of part three. Which we've covered. So the only extra bit is really this, this high A shape. So. So then in part four, I like to do pull-offs on the low D string. Up to the G. Then pull-offs on the middle D. So what I'm doing there is the low pull-offs and then mid pull-offs. You're going from a low tone, say, G shape to a mid-tone G shape. And that's all I'm doing. I'm mixing up the tones a bit. Instead of just sticking with a solid D chord and a G chord. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just you can't play a tune like that. I just I'm just mixing it up a little bit, adding in these extra tones. So then at the end of part four, I just do this ascending bass line. So it's the one we've covered already, but maybe you want to add in that hammer on on the second fret. So it's just a little, it's a subtle, subtle change. So it's just. slides up. So that's another chord worth knowing. That's the E minor shape, two finger E minor shape. So that'd be how you could play around with part four as well. So now that I've shown you each part individually, let's put them all together and have a listen to that. Thank you. 
I said there'd be a bonus for you, so here is Shane Hayes just to play the tune straight through on his own without me interrupting you on the guitar so you can practice along with him. Well, I hope you got something out of that lesson. If you want to check out my full Dadgad guitar course, I'll leave links to that in the description below or up here in the corner. You can check that out. And if you're in the mood to continue on learning right now, here is Tom Ward's Downfall. It's a reel that I recorded and the full tutorial is there for you. I'll talk to you on the next one. All the best. <laughs>